and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Harrowing. That's right, gonna play this deck again. We played it last week and it looked really good. It's just a nice, uh, good mid range deck with um, a lot of value in here and, of course, a great finisher with Ash. This enemies with zero power can't block is where we are going to be winning a lot of our games. And honestly, that that clause is pretty ridiculous. We kind of talked about that before. I should maybe not be a thing. Maybe they need to change this leveled up Ash to do something else because that is so powerful. In a game where you can only play six units across, then that's it. Uh, Ash being able to attack and immediately eliminate one and then if you have like a harsh winds you can eliminate more or a flash freeze or brittle steel things like that um, and then they just can't even block or of course if you have a whole lot of ashes in play and that's what we're going to be trying to do here with having rekindler be able to bring back ash same with miss call and then of course harrowing harrowing if we have multiple ash die then we can have harrowing bring them all back they can attack the same turn um, you know, if we have like three of them, for example, that's frostbiting three units that can't block <laughs> and it's just so much power and they can't block and uh, they're going to lose. So that's uh, that's what our deck's about. It's about, um, you know, they can't go over 20 life. You can, you know, 20 life is the most life you can have <laughs> and then six is the most blockers you can have. So you can't have more life, you can't have more blockers, and we can just kind of eliminate those blockers and deal 20 damage in one turn. And, and the only way to stop that is with removal spells, basically. Alright, so we're playing against Thresh Gangplank. This deck is trying to use a whole bunch of removal spells themselves. I'm going to mulligan the Flash Freeze to start with. We'll keep like the Brittle Steel Rhyme Thing Wolf um, part. Yeah, this is a deck that's trying to use powder kegs I must get out of here. and withering whale and out there. all sorts of removal I'll spells spell. like that. Um, Harrowing is good against removal spells, so is Avaros and Sentry. Rhymefang Wolf not that good against removal spells, so there's a good chance that I should have just mulliganed Rhymefang Wolf. I was thinking that maybe Rhymefang Wolf could take down like a Gangplank or something. So I'm thinking that this 2 1 is going to be dying to make it rain and Withering Whale already. Might as well try to do some damage with it. Or have it trade with half of a hapless aristocrat. Nothing escapes my watch. Be nothing left when I'm done. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I want to keep them from doing damage as far as leveling up Gangplank is concerned. Alright, well, looks like we're not keeping them from doing that. Them to play a champion. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. I hope they don't have anything to stop my Rhyme Fang Wolf. In Avarosa's name.
Fossil should just be attacking with the Ice Veil Archer also. No, don't stop Rhyme Pig Wolf. Okay, didn't exactly stop the wolf, so got to thrash out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I posted it there in Akano. I think I think I did. I rarely forget and never forgive. So I respect you, Captain. The War Mother will unite us all. Let him bleed out. Let's do this. So I'm definitely expecting Withering Whale next turn to take out everything for how they haven't been blocking my Avaros and Sentries at all. Kind of like them to play that first, and then I get to Harrowing. Right now, Harrowing would bring back Avaros and Hearthguard, and then Wolf and Archer. And then three sentries. It'd be like a draw three. And also Hearthguard ability. So that's not bad. Gotta go with the blow. Too bad getting rid of the ramping wolf. These elusives are going to be big problems. Should have just played harrowing long. I'm glad we drew this vengeance. So I'm trying I'm trying to set up a kill with harrowing this next turn. So I'm trying to do No backing down. Just puts me to one. Me to two. So let's see, because I kinda need to play harrowing. Harrowing will cost 9 mana, and then I can play Brittle Steel also if I play Harsh Winds right now. So I go Harsh Winds now on these two. And then next turn I can go Harrowing plus Brittle Steel. So 
we keep so they'll only have at most three blockers if they play two more units which I don't know if they'll be able to play two more units Yes, yeah, that's this is the game. I'm either gonna win or lose this turn. Explosives. That's what this game's about. Can we pull it off this turn? We'll have to see. Okay, so we're going to keep them from killing Ash. At least right now, this only is doing 3 damage total to Ash. Mm. Alright, so it looks like they're able to stay alive. So let's see. So they that thing won't be able to block. They all they still have four blockers. Yeah. So I guess I. Do I even attack with the chronicler of ruin? Yeah, we still attack with the chronicler, don't we? So I guess we're gonna try to kill this gangplank. Since we're not gonna be able to kill them now with those. Vile Feast were awesome because, you know, the removal spell plus blockers. Perfect time for Vile Feast. Um, yeah, I mean, all the champions are, are viable. Yeah. Um, the absolute worst champions in the game, you're probably looking at... Probably Lee Sin. So, I mean, we're, we're about to play Lee Sin in ranked in a little bit, but I guess probably Lee Sin and Trindamir, maybe? Yeah, all the, all the champions are viable. Definitely not Elise. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, Karma's up there. Somebody said Quinn. Alright, hoping to draw another harrowing. Hmm. Not a harrowing. 
we could just draw Ash, and then they wouldn't be able to block. Now, Elise is a big part of the most popular deck. Could try Iceville Archer, Glimpse Beyond Iceville Archer to look for Elise, but that plan is just so unlikely to happen. And ready. It's real easy for them to kill one health units. It's just really unlikely that that, that plan happens, so. I don't know, my plan is. Try this? This isn't a very good plan either. I don't have a good plan right now. So, yeah, they. Definitely would have just killed, you know, killed this thing in response to the Limp Beyond or killed Ash. Either one, that plan would not have worked. Oh, we would have, we would have drawn Ash. But now this should kill us because they're going to get a powder keg. Other plan was like maybe draw. You know, like, if we got to kill the Gangplank, keep two blockers, and draw another Frostbite spell. Um. Another plan at that point was very good. The Vile Feasts were awesome against my harrowing of get, get more blockers and kill the Ash. That was the game. Those spray fins were amazing. Being elusive, I you know I couldn't block them ever. They got they got to replace themselves with good spells. I had to go find good spells. Those the spray fins were awesome. All right, same deck. Um, you know, just playing Twisted Fate instead of Thrash, but same deck. And keep this stuff. So Bjork draws Ash. Ash will die. Rekindler will bring back Ash. They're out there. I'll spot them. them good. For the homestead. Like that card, it's too good. So we can Let's do this. We can have Chronicler. And we can play Chronicler on the Babbling Bjerg and draw another Ash. Um, but I'm gonna just save Chronicler, maybe get it with Rekindler later. Never 
lost a fair game. Or played one. Soak it in. I will unite the Freljord. Twisted Fate has a really good chance of leveling up, to be honest. I don't have much removal. There's a good chance that thing levels up. Safeguard our homes. Clear off. Best run while you can. Halt. Omenhawk's kind of awkward here. You know, it's awkward with a miss call. Um, but then it's also just kind of, I need to free up space also, so I, I want to get it out of play because I want to free up space. It's just a little awkward kind of everywhere here, so we're just going to attack with it. Um, and question is, do I sacrifice it to draw two? I think that answer is yes. And they can use removal on this. I think we'll just wait till afterwards. Afterwards, as far as after Rekindler. good solid hand for them. Deck hand into Petty Officer, Spray Fin, Twisted Fate, Gangplank. Good solid hand. Stand and defend. Okay, I was gonna say I could. I would be. I wouldn't be surprised if they were gonna do the same thing with letting their gangplank die and then going with rekindler, bringing back gangplank. So I think my plan here is to chronicler. The rekindler. And then missed call. Yeah, it's just it's such better mana wise. Let's just do this. I guess missed call. I don't have room, do I? To put another ash into play. Could just harsh winds and attack. And they wouldn't be able to block with any of these. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. True. 
<clears throat> Going flash freeze, brittle steel, brittle steel gets rid of every single blocker. Doesn't mean it's necessarily game. You know, they can they can play a bunch of stuff and get red card, gold card. Level up Twisted Fate is silly. I mean, it's def I mean, all they have to do is play these two warning shots and they get rid of two of these. And then if they have, you know, another removal spell or anything else in hand, then they get rid of another thing. But this will still put some good pressure on them. to four. Let's go with the crystal arrow right now to try to keep us from dying. Frostbiting all this stuff. Hopefully we can have enough attacking to be able to get four points of damage in you know, without this. So miss call is 50-50, getting Ash, which is amazing, or getting Chronicler of Ruin, not so amazing. Return to us. I think instead we just play this Rekindler. My best draw is like Brittle Steel. Who says I don't share? It needs harrowing next turn and not harsh winds. Can Glimpse Beyond? If it wasn't for level up twisted fate, we you know, this game would have been really easy. But just the these red cards, gold cards, all the time during combat, 
We've saved them last turn, and now it's going to make this pretty difficult for us to win this turn. Okay, if I go Harsh Winds and attack. They get to um, block with one thing. They play a spell, so red card kills this. They play another spell, gold card stops that. They get to block with one thing, and if those two spells they play, all they have to do is do one damage to Rekindler, and then they're not taking lethal. I guess I have to go this route. I, obviously, I really wish that this Ash would have died first. Now. Well then. Didn't play a single spell first to get red card out of the way? First? So you still get to block with one thing. But, you know, it's like playing Harsh Winds, but my Harsh Winds put two lethal attackers also into play. They probably should have done that before I attacked and gotten this red card to keep the Ash, this Ash from Frostbiting. <clears throat> yeah, they, I mean, they could have just done both of those before I attacked. Kept one Ash from Frostbiting and... Yeah, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know why they didn't do both of those before I attacked. After heroin. And I would have only been able to frostbite two things. Like, if they would have just done that, they they would have won this game. But they didn't, so they're going to lose. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. <clears throat> Snatching defeat from now the claws of victory. Yep, so that's what our deck's supposed to do. The Harrowing with Ash, get a bunch of those in play, keep them from blocking. Basically force them to have removal, which that Twisted Fate, a level up Twisted Fate, could have stopped all that. It could have. All right, that's, that should be the title of the video, Ashes to Ashes. Nothing wrong with Bjerg, but I just want to find some earlier stuff. Thanks, Ralph. Yeah, that's what I, I try to do. I try to explain my turns. <clears throat> it's hard for me to talk, like, the entire time. But, you know, I'm not just talking so much, you know, it's not, not super easy. But, um, yeah, I try to explain my turns as much as I can. Safeguard our homes. Try to be very informative and answer questions and everything. So yeah, always feel free to ask questions whenever you have them. Everybody in chat, and of course, y'all on YouTube also. Watching this later, feel free to leave comments of any kind of questions you have. Uh, the old turn three Omenhawk. A classic. Hey. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Hoping that we get to just play Ash next turn and attack with that Rhyping Wolf. Mm. So I'm hoping. Nope, guess not. Leaping into action. It is a good turn three. You will play Omen Hawk and Ice Fill Archer and Culling Strike. Not a bad turn at three. Now, is it worth it to play Ash? Very good chance that it's not. Well, maybe we will. <clears throat> All they have to do is play another three plus power blocker. Okay, they didn't didn't play one. Cool. So we got one out of five for, for Ash's level up, right there. And they can challenge and kill Ash, but then we can missed call, bring it back. That's the current plan. Shadow the arm. Huh. Do I want to frostbite? Man, Cato's gonna do so much damage. Could turn this into a nine-two. So I could, I could basically I could make this a 3-2, or I could Frostbite the Caddo. Let's Frostbite the Caddo. I want to keep them from attacking with Caddo. Hmm. We did not keep them from attacking with Caddo. Stay back. Normally I'd want, you know, would normally want to block both miss call. I just can't. Bunch of card draw. <clears throat> from the savage cold. Still see far and clear. All right, so next turn, it's like during while they're attacking, I can have harsh winds and a glimpse beyond. With that harrowing, that would have been a better time to kill the ash. You'll have more of those die. Give you Malakot Farivas! 
Ready the torches. So I'm, I'm of course harsh winsing the Sejuani. Maybe I just do the assessor. So, so I want my sentry to die, but this is me taking five damage with it being this sentry. But I want the sentry to die. I guess I could have blocked the other way here. Down to four. Light the signal fires. Alert the village. Those are good cards to have. The tribes. That is judged. So should we should be four out of five for Ash, yep. If I play harrowing this turn. Two dead ashes coming back. Um, yeah, I don't, it should have it. It's right here. There you go, Scarta. That should be it. Alright, so let's say I don't let them block. Okay, so we're doing exactly lethal if I don't let them block. So all they need is just a Frostbite card to stay alive. It is enticing, you know, it's... I kind of want to challenge... I kind of want to challenge that Sejuani. I guess we're going to force them to have a Frostbite card to stay alive, though. Instead of challenging. So that's 7, 10, 12, 15, 18. And they're already team. So if they don't have a Frostbite card, they lose. No frostbite? Um, I have one version of Sejuani Swain I like. I've played a lot of Sejuani Swain decks recently, and a lot of them haven't done very well. But I have one version that has done well. I think with it um, going with a bunch of Avalanche and being a control deck. I think with Sejuani Swain, that's, that's the kind of thing to do, is have a bunch of Avalanche. Starlet Seer, City Breaker, that kind of stuff. It is me! Yay! Bristle, attack! Want. 
Alright, so we'll have Harrowing. We'll have 13 mana next turn, so we'll have Harrowing plus Flash Freeze plus Brittle Steel. I need just a moment. Should be plenty to kill them, because we should be getting back four Ash. Yep, four Ash. I guess I could play this Ash first to make it five total, but. It's probably better to just play this with the four and then have Flash Freeze, Brittle Steel. To be able to go straight. It's combat. They have to have like double Harsh Winds. That doesn't save them. I, I don't know what saves them. Double Harsh Winds does not. Continue without me. Unify the tribes. Man, that that clause that Ash has is pretty broken. <laughs> Just can't block. Yeah, that that clause is broken. Crystal Arrow is just slow speed. That's why it's not better. Because then it gives the opponent an opportunity to play more things. It's just better just to do the burst speed. Japanese Airlines is loving the discard deep deck. Awesome. Yeah, that's a really that's a really fun one to play. I, I like lure the depths in there and uh, you know the shipwreck hoarder and you know, being able to churn through the deck, twisted fate with all that kind of card draw and everything. That's a fun deck to play. Hmm. Playing against a deep. Thing is, all these cards are good against deep, but I'm not doing anything turn one or turn two. We can get rid of the Chronicler of Ruin. Like, Vengeance is awesome in the super late game. So, do, like, do I keep it in my opener? I mean, I guess. Because, like I said, it is awesome in the super late game. And... You know, Rhymefang Wolf can challenge... Nautilus and kill Nautilus, especially with Ash shrinking at Nautilus. I'm not sure yet. I'm not really quite sure of what, what we're going to build whenever the patch goes live. Um, you know me, I'm going to be playing everything. So, you know, everything's going to be on the docket. Uh, just going to... Mm. Kind of risky. Like if I, if I pass and just let them attack first, they could just pass back to me. I will unite the frail yard. Today, Ash. All right, draw two. Get him, Rhyme Fang Wolf. Get him. Hmm. All right, so they'll hit. They'll hit me for three. Draw a card. Next turn, we can challenge that thing. The main question is. Ooh. So the main question is if I like flash freeze. To try to keep my Rampang Wolf alive or not. This is tough. Play this now and get another Hearth Guard and get all the goodies from another Hearth Guard or use it to kill Rekindler. Oh, I guess it's use it to kill Rekindler. Stand I'm gonna just. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna just challenge and not use Flash Freeze. Yeah, we doing Zombie Ash. No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think Rampang Wolf would be too strong if it was Obliterate instead of Kill. I don't think it would really change the card that much. I think it would be basically the same card. It would. It would improve it, but it wouldn't make it too good. This is too bad that this is Obliterate and not kill, because obviously if it's kill I could miss call, bring it back. But I do want to glimpse beyond because of harrowing, we want Ash dead. Not obliterated. Need to play that first before Chronicler. Our heroine is going to bring back a lot of those things. This turn we're probably casting Vengeance on Nautilus. That'd be my guess. Ash is at two out of five. Whoops, I'm sorry about that. Okay. No blockers, please. Could have just played Flash Freeze instead of the Harsh Winds. Yeah, shouldn't matter. By playing the Harsh Winds, I can have like Flash Freeze plus Vengeance next turn. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, three and one. The war is over. It's so strong. Now we rebuild. <laughs> That just doesn't. I don't. I mean, I don't have. I don't have like the answer of what Ash should have for the leveled up ability. But I. I can't imagine that this is like the best thing to have. 
It gets such a feels bad to just be like, yeah, all your stuff can't block. Attacking for lethal. The game's now over. It's such a feels bad. Uh, I'm a card gamer, Gren. Yeah. Been a card gamer for a long time. I used to play... No, no so yeah, I didn't, didn't play League before this. I used to play Magic. <laughs> the Basilisk likes no blocking. I mean, just look at the hind legs. Yeah, nothing there. Like, we're not we're not blocking. We're not staying back on our hind legs playing defense. No, we're getting out. We attacking. Nothing escapes my watch. Oh, this looks like this is going to be a long game. <laughs> it's been turn one and turn two. No, I don't really have any interest to play League of Legends, no. Safeguard our homes. I would like to attack. What would you like to do? Take the damage. Okay. So now what would you like to do? Maybe I would maybe I shouldn't have attacked because I would have just saved us two minutes if I would have clicked okay after they said okay the first time. <laughs> there you go, y'all go. Yeah, so Jacques, just follow that link and there you can find the the deck list. Um, the, the code is there in the link. There's an export code button. Okay, it's now turn three. Like, is this, is this just their strategy to win, is just take as much time as possible every single decision and just annoy people and then they concede? wonder if that's the strategy. The problem with playing Rhymefang Wolf is Glimpse Beyond. I, they're a deck with a lot of removal. I do want to have Glimpse Beyond available. Draw two. Plus, of course, the one from the century. Who says I don't share?
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like a very good strategy, <laughs> admittedly. The few for the many. Perfect for them. That was perfect. Well, that hurts quite a bit. That was, yeah, that was a perfect turn. So I'll just get the hearth guard out here, which is my best blocker. Not good. Not good. So I want to vengeance Swain. That's still me taking eight going down to five. I mean, difficult winning when going down to five. I can instead just go Harsh Winds, Brittle Steel, and just basically, you know, just go down to 11, but not actually do anything to affect the board. But would be at 11. The other problem with Harsh Winds, Brittle Steel, is that if they just do three non-combat damage with something, like a Noxion Fervor on me, um... Then they get to level it up to one and then do stuff with that also. So I'm going to try the Vengeance, but this is, you know, a risk of going down to five instead of going down to eleven. But we affect the board. Right now, I can't beat a whole lot. You know, if they have a, a bunch more good threats, can't beat much more. I need them to not have other things, you know, not have like Leviathan or anything like that. Had some great turns with these Petty Officers. Petty Officer did a point of damage to my first 3-2, which allowed the Twisted Fate red card to kill it, and then the other Petty Officer did the damage to my Hearth card, allowing the Noxion Guillotine to kill it, and then also just putting these 3-2s out that have been killing me. So not only are we getting crushed, but this game is so slow. There we go. All the world 
Hearth card is my best card to play, but I think I need two blockers, so we're going to be going with Ash plus Chronicler. Yep, we won versus the deep deck. So basically all that that does for us is, is it gives us another Ash if we have a Harrowing. You know, like if we get to survive and get to another Harrowing later. Which that answer is, nope, it's not gonna happen. Alright, for Sandy's sake, I'm moving on. A lost battle, not a lost war. Alright, um, so there we go. Three and two. Our deck is all about um frostbiting those enemies and just attacking and they can't block it's pretty crazy still to me that that's you know that that's a thing that can happen but very very strong um yeah last point i had i mean yeah that stuff was awesome those petty officers ravenous flock great stuff um, we, you know, like the thing about this deck, you're not killing anything. So like, if you get behind like that, it's kind of difficult. Like you, you just need to have like a, a one shot kill with the harrowings whenever you're getting behind because we're not playing any removal besides the one vengeance. You know, like that's it. That's it. As far as removal goes, which we saw that be a detriment at times of just having, you know, frostbites and glimpse beyonds, um, no kind of removal. We had multiple twisted fates level up against us. That's kind of difficult, but um, yeah, that's that's what we got. All right, so there we go. That's Ash Harrowing. Uh, definitely a fun one to play. Super powerful too. The the things you can do, like the just the amount of times you can just do twenty damage in one turn, is pretty crazy. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.